Hello, welcome to another Informatica video tutorial. My name is Fernando Guerrero, I am a Cloud Solution Specialist, and in this video we are, we are going to talk about the Informatica Data Integration REST API, in particular the Connection uh, uh, REST API. So to this video we are going to see what can we do with this with the Informatica Connection REST API. We are going to have a little demo and I will show you a link to documentation if you want to know more details about this REST API. So what can we do with the Informatica Connection REST API? Well, we can use this API to request information about all the connections that we have in one organization. Um, you, if you don't want to get the entire list of the organization, uh, you can limit this by only uh, connections of one specific connection type or use that belong to one runtime environment um, or you can use by search by the name by the connection id and besides just getting that information you can create you can up update uh, you can test and you can delete uh, all the connections uh, when you get information about one of the connections or when you are going to update one you you will see the name uh, who created the the connection when was the last time that it was updated to which to which um, agent belongs what is the type of connection if the connection has any advanced settings uh, you will see that information when you update you need to specify all that information so in the next video we are gonna see some uh, examples of when you get information about the the connections we, we will see all the details that you that you have so now we are going to use postman used to do a little demo uh, about different things of how we can call this api so remember um when you use these apis uh the first path here is the URL that you use when you log into your organization. Uh, it's going to be different for each each of you. Then you add here this path. And when you look at the connection REST API documentation, you will see that they show you the path starting from here. Okay? So just remember that you will have to add all this to all the examples that you see in the documentation. The documentation will show you only starting from API. When you use this um, uh, API call, this one, the content type, and also what we accept is an application XML. Another information that we have to put in the header is the iSession ID. So before be able to call this API, you need to first use the login API to get the iSession ID, and then you can use this one. Otherwise, you, um, you are not gonna be allowed to, to request that information. So now that we have that clear, let's gonna do some little examples. So the most basic um, call is this one. When you call uh, use simple connection, what it's gonna do is it's going to list all the connections that belong to this organization, all of them. Let me show you. So here we have the first one it's giving us the ID, it's giving us the name, uh, description, when was created, who created, to which agent belongs. And I am going to scroll down. You, the information will be blurry because we have to um, protect um, who, the name of the person who created this. But I am doing it so you can see that it's a really long list of connections that we have in this organization. So yeah, long long list you are going to be able to see uh, all this now if you don't want to see all the connections and you want to do it only by one um, you can call then only by id so let me show you here so you just add the id well you need to know that in advance um, so if you see now we only have one connections that, that's all. Uh, we can also test if this connection is, uh, is working correctly or not. So we can add this to our path. 
and it's gonna test it and the test failed it's, it's telling us that this the there is not an active secure agent associated uh, with this uh, connection so that's why the the testing was unsuccessful uh, so if you were planning to create something with this connection right now you know that you cannot use it because the secure agent is uh, inactive uh, let me show you a different uh, connection are you going to use a different connection oh i tested this connection and the connection here is telling us that the test was successful so this connection is working fine uh, which connection is it well let me display the information about that one this is a connection that belongs to me it's a flat file connection uh, here we can see um, when was created uh, we can see the agent time we can see the type uh, now Im imagine that you want to get the connection because for example the first test failed because the agent was not working okay in this case the connection is correct and also the agent is correct so you already know which agent is working so you can use the connection of that agent well what if you want to know all the connections that belong to one of your secure secure agent so what we're going to do here is we are going to modify our path we are going to do um, we are going to add this agent id equal now i'm going to get this sorry this agent id from here and this should give me let me review the path if it's correct um, this should give me all the connections that are associated with this uh, agent So here we see we let me scroll down it's gonna be blurry to protect email but um, but you will see that it's a long list of of connections that are associated with only one uh, secure agent so this is just a little example of the things that you can you can do uh, it's very simple but it's gonna be very powerful when you are designing or where you want to verify test that everything is working fine uh, on your organization. Well, we saw a few examples in the demo how to use the uh, connection REST API, but if you want to see more examples, you can visit the documentation. Here you have the link and you can see examples of how to call uh, the connection by name. We did it by ID in, in the demo, but you can also do it by connection name. Uh, you can delete connections, you can update connections. So you will have all that information here in the documentation. But I hope that the demo will give you a guide of how to use the information that you will find here in, in the document. We will be glad to hear your feedback about these videos. So you can send us a, an email uh, or also you can post in our Twitter account. Thank you very much for watching this video.